guys, my name is Layla Sophia. I am an artist and fine jewelry designer. If you like contemporary fine jewelry, if you like luxury handbags, all things interiors, and I have some fun videos for you. You guys, the holidays are amongst us. I'm so, I'm I'm actually very excited this year, and there are some bag styles that. <laughs> I am fully, fully obsessed with that are perfect for this time of year, but that you can also wear like forever and ever and keep in your collection. If you guys are new here, thank you so, so much for tuning in. I can't wait to see you in all of my future videos. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram at Layla Sophia Jewelry. I put out videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, and so I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. Okay, starting off strong. I always talk about this because I'm myself, I'm a fine jewelry designer. I feel like learning more about the designers behind a brand really like catches my interest. And it took me a while and I'm embarrassed as to how long it took, but Savette, gorgeous. I, I'm fully obsessed and there is a clutch that I'm like, we need to go see this in person. The Sarah or Sira clutch that uh, in the brown lizard in particular, of course, because it's me, but just like in general, the gorgeous, like I, this bag, is truly stunning. This is the definition of like a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. And I picked it first because it's, this is a very me list. So a lot of the bags are a little bit more frilly and holiday-y, but a lot of the times when you go to a holiday party, you kind of think, oh, I'll wear this really fun, spicy, exciting, crystalled out bag. And then you put your outfit together and you're like, mm, I just want to take an evening bag. And so this is like the perfect thing. It's gorgeous, it's stunning, but then you can wear her to like every wedding you have in the spring and summer. This bag, I am fully in love with. And then for a bag that is really fun and like very exciting, but also so cute. You guys know how obsessed I am with my medium Bottega Veneta sardine bag and the holiday colors that they just released. I know people have like made all kinds of ridiculous comments on the metallic intrachato weaving, but the gold and the silver mini sardine bag, you guys, like this, adorable. It's so, so, so cute. I love them both. I actually really, the sardine and silver is really cool. It's very current. I know a lot of people are like very into their silver jewelry, silver accessories, but there's something about the gold that I love. And you guys know how much I've been loving my Fendi Peekaboo in gold python. And so, you know, we, we see what my tastes are, but both colors of this. I just could see, like, if you are someone who is like, yes, I am gonna show up to the party with this gorgeous metallic bag. But if you're also like, and it's sculptural and cool and innovative, I, this is such a cool option. And if you are a little bit more, you know, let, I don't know if it's traditional, but when I think of holiday bags, I think of the Prada Clio in crystal. And if you're, if you are, you know, want to stick within those lines, I did kind of always love the gold one that came out, I think last year, maybe two years ago, but I think it was a newer release last year. I love the one with the rhinestones and without the rhinestones. And this year they have dropped a black and a pink. And I think the black is perfect because I know a lot of people got the Prada Clio, wore it during the holiday season, and then were like, mm, what am I doing here? It's like a little bit too blingy maybe to bring to a wedding, but again, maybe not. I don't know. But the black is a really good option because all those crystals are going to catch the light at night. And so it's a little bit more versatile. Like you could wear her for the rest of your life, <laughs> in like different scenarios, but it still is so cool. Very holiday -y, kind of classic Prada. And if you're like me, and look to, you know, one of my favorite brands, my top two favorite brands, the Row for a holiday evening look that you want something a little bit more subtle, a little bit more understated. I would look no further than the Harper bag because you guys, I am obsessed with this bag. The, it's really hard for me to pick my favorites of their pieces. And this, I think, like, I immediately think evening. I immediately think Ashley Olsen or Mary Kate Olsen, but a little bit more Ashley Olsen. Like I immediately think like how chic this would be on her. And I love that so much when designers really like, when you can see when a bag is like, yes, because all of their really cool archival like event looks, first of all, are just, you know, I drool over them and probably, you know, revisit them a little bit too often, but this is so them and that's maybe why I love it. And this bag is just so cool. I can see it in like a really cool holiday party setting. But then again, it's like, 
this will be, oh my gosh, like this would be so chic just to take out to a random casual dinner and just casually have your gorgeous Harper bag, like Nuff said. And one that I'm, I'm really gonna have to, I'm gonna have to stop myself from buying. I actually am so debating between the larger and the smaller size, but from Jill Sander, the sphere bag in white and gold. How could you go wrong? Like this is immediately when I thought of, when I thought of this video, all the bags for this video, because how cute. And again, if you're like me and a little bit more minimal, but you still want something that's like, ooh, my bag is the vibe. My bag is the moment of my outfit. That's how 98, 99, 100% of my outfits are the bag. She is the moment. And this is just so cute without doing, you know, you're not going crazy. But something about the gold sphere is very holiday-y and the white, I just did my winter white bag video. I'm kind of obsessed with my like random new collection <laughs> that I've all of a sudden started of white bags. And it, like, it's small enough where it's like, it's unobtrusive and yet like, it's Jill Sander. It's iconic. This bag is so stunning. And just a couple more. And let's go into, you know, the more extravagant, let's say, holiday -y ones because my list was very me. But from Cult Gaia, the fan pearl bag. I went into the Cult Gaia store in Soho like months, maybe even six months ago with my brother's girlfriend, Lucy, who I love so much. And she immediately was like, what is that? What is this? And tried it out. Like, it is so cool. And I immediately was like, it was her birthday. And so I was like, oh, a birthday bag. This would be perfect. But then it, I was like Christmas. Like I just immediately thought Christmas, holidays, any kind of party. This is so cool, especially if you're going to like an indoor, you know, well heated party, hopefully, or you just don't live in New York. So I'm thinking a little bit too linearly here. And you have a like long jacket, but then you take it off and you're wearing a cool slip dress or something without sleeves. It like folds over, you, you can either carry it over your forearm or like in your hands somehow, I don't know. There's many different ways to wear it. It's so cool. It's obviously like very along the same lines of my Simone Rocha egg bag. Like it's just, there's something so whimsical, but also really cool. And the like interesting metal details make it, give it like a little vintagey vibe where it's still being, it's, we love the oxymorons here. She's vintage, but then very current, very avant-garde. I'm like, this is such a beautiful bag and like what more perfect time of year than to get this bag. And very similarly, a brand that I've maybe only talked about twice and it was like almost a year ago. So they deserve some more, some more play. From Rosantica, the Billy Pearl, but honestly, choose any bag from Rosantica. Like, obviously, I, they were, again, one of the first designers that I thought of. And I was planning this video and I was like, yeah, hello, like you can pick any of these bags for the holiday season and it'll go perfect. But this one, oh my, again, like maybe I have some weird thing for pearls. I don't know, like wearing pearls as much, but a pearl bag seems perfect because you're adding in like, it's a little bit more texture. It's again, giving you that winter white. And yet it's so like the way that they do vintage inspired styles, but in a really cool, fresh way is kind of beyond me. And this bag, like, I think you'd be the envy of everybody at your holiday party if you're wearing this. And let's just go ahead and end with Scaparelli because again, what, like, why not? Why not? Because if you are saying to yourself, you know, I've been really I've been saving for a Scaparelli bag, now's the time of year. It's the time of year. It's over the top, it's gorgeous, it's so, oh my gosh, like it's beyond me quite frankly. Even though I got priced out of Scaparelli with their <laughs> latest price increase, sad, I know. One day, and this, the Bijou clutch bag, like the two little very embellished eyes, like, that's going Scaparelli while still going like wearable. That's going, oh my gosh, this is an over the top gorgeous piece while still being like, okay, I still wanna wear this though. And not have it just be like, you know, a, a master work of art. And it's it's wearable basically is what I'm trying to say. Small enough and unobtrusive. I know, I'm sure a lot of people, you know, that have like gorgeous larger Scaparelli bags other than the Scap bag, the like face bijou bags, the ones that are like really embellished, you know, probably have them up on a shelf and maybe don't bust them out that often. And if you do, like you're iconic and I envy you and I hope to be you one day, but this is wearable. And it's it's just so, so Daniel Roseberry, he's a genius. And if you also want something that's like, okay, this is just my, I'm gonna just have a pass, give myself a pass. I'm gonna just buy one ridiculously, completely, like almost, you know, useless <laughs> size wise bag 
the mini secret bag, actually called the micro secret bag in gold. You guys, I, this is such a, this, I can't believe that Cassie Thorth doesn't have this bag. You need to get this TBE tiny bag energy. Like the, it's, it's, this is so stunning. And again, I could see someone just like, it's just a vibe, you know, going in with like a really cool, very simple, understated, minimal Christmas dress outfit. And then this bag and it's perfect. It's pretty much perfect. You guys, that has been my holiday bags. I'm so excited to hear your thoughts as always. Now I want, you know, now I want like five of these and I'm so excited to hear what you guys think as well. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.